Hello again, little Longhorns. This is Miss Calvin, and today we are going to be reading a book called Magnus O'Meara, Mine Pioneer, pioneered or written by Kristen Pierce with pictures by Mar Fondos. Before we get started reading this book, I wanted to tell you a little bit about one of my favorite authors, Kristen Pierce. She is an award-winning author and the founder of the Inner Compass books, which are all self-awareness books. She's an educator and her mission is to empower children to destruct their self-limiting beliefs, to shift their perspectives, to open their minds and expand their awareness of their mind, body, and self. This is a really great book about using your imagination to pioneer ideas, to solve problems, but to also believe in yourself even when everybody else thinks that your ideas aren't good enough. She is an advocate for children and for STEAM alike, and this is a perfect STEAM book because sometimes when we have ideas that are wild and seamlessly silly, sometimes it's hard for us to learn from our mistakes and to keep persevering forward even whenever we don't meet the status quo of the ideas of others. So without further ado, let's get started in learning about Magnus O'Meara being a mind pioneer. When Magnus O'Meara was a bright little lad, he opened a gift from his favorite granddad. Sparking epic ideas at the ripe age of five, this hand-me-down gift made him feel so alive. He'd uncovered a passion. It was crystal clear. He courageously tinkered without any fear. He got wrapped in ideas, devoted his time, and saved his allowance to use every dime on trinkets and tracks, on jacks and jetpacks, toy motors, grand gadgets, and Nana's knickknacks, a stockpile of parts to upgrade and concoct each masterpiece that his mind had unlocked. Like a hydration helmet that let him take sips and a nifty note holster that attached to his hips. He'd record inspiration, incubate, then unlatch the glorious gadgets that were ready to hatch. His creations grew wild as young Magnus did too, and his parents suggested to try something new. But it didn't stop him, unaffected amid his parents' concern for a well-rounded kid. Because Magnus O'Meara was head over heels for building new dreams with gears, rackets, and reels. And that's how it went till one day in grade three, as Magnus O'Meara, he sat out by a tree. Right then an idea came into his sight that instantly brought him tremendous delight. Off he went to invent some giggle robotics with his stockpile of parts in dad's old orthotics. He worked right through recess and gave it his best, then raced back to class and put it to the test. His teacher, Miss Richer, he found was a stickler. She was quite unimpressed with his motorized tickler. Mr. Magnus O'Meara, your newest attraction is proving to be an outrageous distraction. Please go put it away. Now, what did I say? You've got to get focused. It's not time to play. Then Miss Richard gave out to each lad and lass a task to prepare and present to the class, a project she loved, one designed to inspire. Research a hero that you fondly admire. Magnus tried to stay focused, but try as he might, his mind wandered off 
on a perilous flight. Riding a rocket, staring off into space, distraction was written all over his face. Focus, please. His breakthrough idea was right on the brim, so Magnus O'Meara went out on a whim. Stewing solutions, no, he just couldn't quit. Then he stood up and shouted, Eureka! That's it! Mr. Magnus O'Meara, you can't pay attention. I've had it to hear now. You're off to detention. His mother was most unenthused with the news, which left Magnus feeling a little confused. His heart hit the floor. He felt so deflated. He started to question the things he'd created. Magnus served his detention deep in the library, but his consequence there was quite the contrary. A book fell on his head by sheer stroke of fate and delivered a message he couldn't debate. Magnus learned that Tesla was one of a kind. He built perfect inventions deep down in his mind. Enthralled with Einstein, his fascination grew on. Captivated, he studied them out on the lawn. Spellbound by da Vinci and dazzled by Musk, he explored masterful minds until it was dusk. Then Magnus lit up as it all became clear. This is what I've been doing for all of these years. He began meditation to perfect how to find the space to build ideas deep in his mind. With practice, he found which spots had grown rusted and located where projects must be adjusted. With dedication, his minds were able to merge to perfect epic visions that were struck on the verge. He hit many roadblocks, but by taking a shower, solutions emerged with awe-striking power. Magnus blew minds as he presented in class, a pioneer view through a new looking glass. Einstein used intuition, then backed it with knowledge. His mind experiments were not learned in college. Both Tesla and Henry envisioned inventions with precision that was beyond comprehension. These marvelous minds utilized intuition to impact the world with creative ambition. Mozart played pool while divinely designed great symphonies that he refined in his mind. Kualek was a chemist who trusted her hunches to create concoctions that withstood the punches. Edison sat in a chair in front of a fire to induce the brain state he dearly desired. Why don't we meditate to dive into our minds where boundless ideas sit and wait to unwind? He gave guided direction to help his friends learn how to find inspiration and get it to churn. Miss Richer was beaming. She was smiling and proud. You focused your mind, brought it down from the clouds. You have taught me so much, she freely confessed. I must say, young man, I am wildly impressed. Have an inquiring mind and make your own rules. Many fine pioneers were once thought to be fools, but they shattered the limits and blazed their own trails. You can't change the world if you're too scared to fail. So find what excites you, then follow the thread. And do keep a notebook right next to your bed. Now go choose a topic that lights up your heart, envision your dreams, and begin on your start. 
Magnus harnessed his mind and unwavering might to fuel his ideas and help them take flight. He gave it his all with meticulous care, pioneered new inventions, ambitious and rare. The End What an inspirational book to tell us to follow our dreams without being ashamed, but also to show us that focus and attention and mindfulness are also keys to success. Here are some reflection questions for you, starting out with a quote. Reading without reflecting is like eating without digesting by Edmund Burke. Magnus O'Meara is a brain brave mind pioneer. He loves solving problems and thinking outside the box to come up with creative ideas. What big ideas would you like to invent, create, dream, or do? Not everyone thinks or learns in the same way. Magnus didn't realize that his big imagination and creative thinking abilities were truly his own unique superpowers. What unique superpower do you possess? Was there ever a time where getting in trouble or facing an obstacle made you question your desires and talents? Or made you want to give up on an idea? What did you do? How could you find inspiration to keep blazing your own trail? When the book of inventors fell on Magnus's head, it was a perfect moment of synchronicity. It happened for him at the exact moment he needed it. Have you ever had something like that happen? with such perfect timing that you knew it was a sign just for you? Thank you for listening. Please take some time to review these reflection questions and celebrate your mind as the pioneer for all of your great ideas. Plan and change the world. Hook'em.